to a brand new episode and of plastic surgery nonetheless with Dr. Alif Hussain once again. So in our series of plastic surgery, we're talking about what is that you choose to do if you must, if you need to, and how to decide what is the best procedure for you. And while doing so, a lot of people, I think one of the biggest concerns is choosing the right plastic surgeon. So before I continue with Dr. Alif just gifted me um, a Beautiful. It's not even a sample actually, it's a uh, Organic Pants Stem Cell Serum and I can't wait to try this and I know it's really hyped up in the market right now so this is something very exciting and You can I, get it in Pakistan, I've uh, imported from Canada Absolutely, and it's organic, yeah. it's plant based which is all of my favorite thing so I'm definitely going to do a review on this uh, So Doc, coming back to our subject today is how does somebody who is not familiar with plastic surgery who is say somebody who just even if it's say not uh, for vanity even if something it is more uh, medicinal or something that needs to be corrected how do they choose the right plastic surgeon for them or the treatment for their needs? Well nowadays it's very easy there was a time when only innovation to be referred by some physicians Yes absolutely The word of mouth right uh, The word of mouth is still uh, happening nowadays, why I get a lot of patients from what I know about the name. I have families for a disparate procedure that somebody has done the procedure with me, and uh, their neighbors, their relatives, their husband, yeah. their, their sons are not coming to me. Now it's very easy to Google, right? You have to search the surgeon, but not everything is very right in Google, too. You have to see the qualification first, and the main thing where he has trained. Yeah. And how many number of patients he has done, like let's say the lab section, how many lab section he has done, how many tests he has done, and what is his level of expertise. Yeah. You can Google it out by seeing his pictures on YouTube and social media. and uh, Seeing the previous work, I think. Previous really, work is yeah. very important. Plus, I'm like, like I am, uh, I've done a Master in Plastic Surgery, I'm a member of Pakistan. Uh, Association of Plastic Surgeons and also I'm the only active member of Canadian Society for Static Plastic Surgeons. It's very easy, you can go there and search me yeah. out, right? so yeah. it's very easy. And I've done my fellowship and uh, every every credentials is on the YouTube or on yes. your website, right? Yes. So very easy. But main thing, very has trained. Like I've done my fellowship in Static Surgery, clinical fellowship, two clinical fellowships in Static Surgery, so I worked like three years in the room, just waking up in the morning, probably from the night, you can say, and standing at 7 a.m. and learning things and all this stuff all day in my time. So, this is the thing. Plus, reviews not every review is the right review. Yeah. You can make reviews, fake reviews, everything, but usually I have my live reviews of the video yeah. and on the YouTube patient himself or during the fall of they are talking about. So, this is the thing. The rest you have to go to him or her and see him physically whether he's very positive, he knows what he's saying yeah. after seeing you, whether he's not cooking things up yeah. or whether he's not grabbing you just to have money like oh no problem you'll be fine. He's I mean, like like I do. I, I do three consultations. One when the patient comes to me, the next before the surgery and then after the surgery. Yeah. Right? So I tell each and everything that you're the right candidate, I can give you this much of the result and you can have this, you can have that, you might not have this, this is normal, this is not normal, if it happens we know how to deal with it, so you have to share each and everything with the patient. Pros, cons, Pros, cons expectations cons, versus reality. reality. Yeah. That's so, important because the patient they think that we can do wonders, we can yeah. do wonders but you are the right candidate for that. Yeah. Right, otherwise you cannot do anything. And uh, but I must say the patients are very naive in such kind of yes, in, this, in this in this area. So you have to tell them and you have to, while going to a surgeon you have to work work uh, out that what he has done and like my patient they come to me, they have seen me with a lot of videos, they're following me like ages and they have decided and they come to me. Yeah. So that is very important. Is the qualification is important, but the main thing where you have trained. Trained. Like so there are a lot yes. of surgeons. They are a Farsi surgeon, they are on the same name that I should know. But they have not trained on certain areas of you know, the practice. Yeah. But if you're not, it doesn't matter what you have done. Like, let's say about a person. 
has done specialization, but general specialization. But he's not specialist in one thing. Yes. Because he's not trained for that. Yeah. And that there is another person who's just done that thing and specialize in that segment, he will do better than what he is. Whether yeah. he's the professor, whether he's 60, whether he's 70, oh, yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah, it that makes a lot of sense. I that makes matter. a lot of sense. The expertise and the training in what you are good at. Exactly. As opposed to selling people something just exactly. because, which is... Which like a lot of people, I, I'm, I'm like, I do a lot of reconstruction. There was a time I still love to do, but now I just prefer that. Yeah. Because I know a long time in that way. Yes, like, yes. Like, like skin grafting, I love yes. skin grafting. But I just ask them because the first thing they can afford, right? Because in the private salon, so I ask them to go to the ground salon and all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. So that is important. Yeah. Really. How much uh, of ethics comes into this practice? Like, I, I know it's still very controversial because people think that uh, it's really vain, it's so luxurious, it's something that only rich people can do with vain people and it, it drives people to be such an artificial version of themselves and there's so much pressure. How valid do you think all of those concerns or pressures are? Well, that's the next thing. They are right. You know, everybody has the right to look good. Well, cosmetic surgery is a luxury as well as necessity. Yeah. Luxury like, I means, I mean, like, people are throw like 100,000 rupees, 200,000 rupees just for a maker. Yeah. They cannot spend just for a procedure. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. So they should. And like, I'm like, I'm sitting, somebody came here, I'm like, just paid 250 grand for just a body maker. Yeah. Said, oh, come on, it's not even my surgeon cost. So, wow. uh, cost is the issue. Cosmetic surgery, I mean, like, is expensive internationally, but not that expensive in Pakistan. Absolutely, I think it's one, one uh, like, fifth or one tenth of the yeah, price of many procedures. But uh, a lot of patients come to me, I mean, like, they just save money for like three years, four years, they've been saving money and they're coming to me. A lot of patients have said that uh, they want to sell the insurance. Yes, I know we don't do have to do that. And uh, either just don't go for a procedure or give them a discount and all this stuff. So it's, it's, it's a very, very different kind of a market, the aesthetic procedure. And uh, everybody wants to do it, but the person. Not everybody can. Not yeah. everybody can. Plus, in cosmetic procedure, you cannot force anyone to get it done. No, and you shouldn't. I, I don't think First of all, yeah. and a person who wants to do it, you cannot stop them. No. Absolutely. Like there is a patient, he came to me for a patient and whenever he comes to me, he has money in his hand, but I always refused. But he said that I want to get it done by you, but a lot of surgeons are after me, but I want to and I ask, why are you refusing me all the time? Mm -hmm. I said, because you just told me you're the OCD patient. Oh, oh wow. You'll never be satisfied, whatever. I know I don't want you to spend more money on this stuff. Just, just stick to that what you have yeah. at the moment because he was getting married again. Yeah, okay. So, but uh, then he decided not to go for a surgery thing. Then he just do something more amazing. And he, do all that. he was spending money unnecessarily. Yeah. So you do get people like that who, yeah. who do it in excess, be it the surgeries, be it with the money, be it with the procedures, and they obviously exactly. don't need it. And that's when. Yeah. That's when ethics come in, yeah, and, and that's yeah, when you tell them exactly. you have to stop. Like, I've I've seen a patient, and like when he came to me, he was unable to speak for like five minutes because of his weight oh and other God. problems. And he sat it. I just gave him water and said, "You can go for a skin section. You're not the patient." He said, "How can you say that, doc? I've been booked tomorrow for a body section. This is." Oh, wow. And I said, who is doing it? You know, so you, these are the things, right? Yeah, that's and what these I are the things. So, Absolutely. So I said, I said, it. you can say, I said, well, you could have gone wrong and something happened. So I said, you have to reduce your weight. You cannot even breathe. How can you go for a general A general anesthesia, yeah, absolutely. So these are the things. So I think it's very important what you're getting. Uh, but there are many things. I do a lot of surgeries, not because. I want to give them result just because I want to give them that stuff. I'm treating their brain so that they say, Doc, if I use that much amount of fat, I will work out. It will give me a head start. 
and I always say to them, I am giving this procedure to you not for the figurement, not for the cosmetic procedure, just to give you a boost. Yeah. What I can take out in one hour, it will take six months for you to do that. Yeah. And you cannot do it. Yeah. So these are the things. And there's a lot of culture issue which we have not talked about. I think Pakistan. Let's check out young girl. Yeah. I think she's gonna come today for it. Yeah. For you. You have patient. Okay. Yeah. She's 26. She's not married. She has lost weight. Yeah. It's, her belly is like that. She has given birth four kids. Or oh, the excess fat in the yeah. skin. Yeah. So it's losing, right? So the ideal procedure is the tummy tuck. Absolutely. But she doesn't want it because she was gonna get married. Okay. Yeah. And everybody's gonna see this part. Oh, what's that? Yeah. Oh. You've been pregnant. Oh. Or else you know oh. the culture issues. The misinformation. Yeah, yeah. so the oh, no, my husband not going to see the scar and last what is this, what is that, and the breast. The young girls who have happy breasts have neck pain, they have bruises, everything, but they cannot go for that surgical procedure. All right. Because they have a lot of scar. All so right. So when you are married and you everybody knows that you're married, your husband knows you can have scarring or whatever. So these are the uh, same taboos which yeah. are taboos I face here rather than abroad. So. Then I have a little bit given a curve and shift to my practice yeah. regarding uh, giving them uh, like a kind of a body which they desire without the ducking and all. Yes, the best that you can do. Yeah, that's I but I have to yeah. tell them that this is going to be the result. This is not going to be the result what you're doing. Yeah. If they're happy, I think Oh yeah, that's, uh, that's so a very is, interesting. That's yeah, very this interesting. Is the thing. Yeah, this is the thing. yeah, the cultural aspect of it and how people would worry and it's such a psych psyche there actually that's why we talk about people with dysmorphia people with mental exactly. illness very difficult to deal with or to make sure that they're in safe hands and they go for the procedure that's right for them if necessary exactly. so dr Arif, thank you so much for this wonderful uh, episode this was very interesting for me and i'm sure it was for the viewers anything else you'd like us to cover on the subject of plastic surgery Please leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. See you in the next episode. Thank you.